All right, y'all know what time it is. It's time to check in. Let's check in. It's the love check in. How we doing? How we feeling? So come in. I am going to share this if I can, child, with people. Play a little music. Let's check in. I will wait for a few people to come. Once y'all come in, let me know that y'all are here. Let me know. Let me know. Hello. Let's check in. It's Wednesday. It's been a minute. Um, so we are checking in with one another, making sure that we are doing well. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Let's check in in love let's check in how y'all doing let me know in the comments how y'all feeling today i've been extremely tired today so how are y'all doing and please share this with a few people on your timeline if you can also let me know where you're watching from how y'all doing i see i got people here i just can't see who on here so y'all tell me where y'all at who y'all are hey y'all we are checking in for our love connection check-in Making sure everybody good, feeling good. No, we're going to let loose. We're going to own some things. We're going to vibe out. Of course, we're going to encourage one another. So where we at? Where we at? How we feeling? What's up, Melinda? What's going on? I am extremely tired. Like I said earlier, y'all, I just I just woke up from a nap. So that's why we starting a bit later. Um. This school year has been taking it out, your girl. But we're going to get into it. It's been a few weeks, okay? So between Mercury being in retrograde, well, multiple planets being in retrograde, and just being busy um, and like away in the woods with no service last week, uh, we haven't been here in a moment. So I'm glad that we were able to check in with one another and, feel, and see how each other are doing emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So let's check in. Um, of course, remember we, our format, y'all. Remember we have segments now. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to let loose. We're going to own some things. We're going to share things um, that helped us vibe thus far this week. And we always are going to encourage one, one another because everyone deserves something. And so um, that is our love format. Let loose, own it, vibe it, and everyone deserves that, that, that. So... If you are wanting to check in today, let me know. Send me a request so y'all can jump on. I pray that all is well with everyone who is on today. Leave me a message. Say, hey, something. So I know I can see y'all names, see your faces or something. Um, but we're going to get started with letting loose. So since it's been a few weeks, I have I have a lot, actually, um, you know, of joy that was sprinkled in. Remember, this is our section where we share something that's made us happy, some memories, um, anything, right? Anything that's made us feel loved or joyful. Um, and so the very first one I'll say is um, remembering my uncle. So my uncle Melvin passed away um, September 13th of um, 2020. So it's been two years now since his death. And so just been, um, I have voicemails saved from him. So just like hearing his voice. Um, and just thinking of different memories from throughout the years um, has really allowed me to feel loved and connected to him. Um, and I believe he's visited me a few times through my lights. So shout out to you, Uncle Melly. I love you. Um, two, I received a beautiful note, a beautiful, beautiful note from one of my students that I work with. Um, I work at a high school in D.C. And so um, I work with them with their emotional, social and behavioral um, well-being and so this one student who you know we always got one that you just feel so drawn to and connect to um, wrote me a letter and said thank you for being consistent with me and that just really made my heart smile because I have been trying with this one student I feel like I haven't been getting through but it's in a consistency for him that let me knew that let me know that I, I'm doing exactly what I need to do by just showing up and being consistent in his life so that really 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 made me ex happy and and joyful um and then third i started a club a wellness club at my school so it's an after school program and it's a wellness body care program 
So uh, we learn about skincare, body care, hygiene, vitamins, all that good stuff. So a part of me that I'm like, passionate about that lets me escape, um, I'm able to share with them and they love it. I mean, we our first session was Monday after school and I had a great turnout. I wasn't expecting so many people to show up because it's like, you know, you know, people like, oh, whatever. They want to do game and stuff. They want to, you know, learn beats and music. But people were actually interested in learning about skincare and taking care of your skin and what products they should use and what kind of skin they have. And so um, that made me happy because it's an outlet for both me and the students that I serve. And so I'm just happy I'm able to share that with them and give them some of my little expertise, you know, whatever I know, child. So that's my letting loose. That's my let loose. So what are y'all, what are y'all joyful about or happy about this week? Is there anything? Let me see where y'all at in the comments. Hey cuz Brian, how are you? Hey Malin. Um, hey Glenda Boom Mama. Where we at? Hey Unique, how you doing, sis? Right? I'm sorry, I'm just getting all y'all messages. Um so oh Melinda, yes, because a part of our um like what to expect is having guests. So girl, I mean, you can virtually do it, but if you want to come to DC, then feel free to come. Um, I will definitely invite you in because I think they would love that. I think the girls would love to get, um, you know, wasted. Boys too, you know, I think that's a, I think we have boys who would love to get wasted too. Um, all right, so what are we owning? We moving on, we moving on. What are we owning today? So, um, whew, y'all, it's been a lot. It's been a lot, but... I think today I must own, or I must start with first owning my um, my voice and my value. So as a woman is a person who always is going to look at the intersection of race, culture, um, social economic status, right, gender identity. I'm looking at all that and um, sexuality. As that woman, I can't be complicit or uphold any values or policies or protocols that are sexist or outdated and or outdated, right? And so, um, and, and harmful practices that push people away. And so I think, well, not I think, but I know I had an experience not too long ago this month um, where I recently had to stand on what I believe in a space that with was once sacred to me a, a place that was once home but a place that felt very uncomfortable to me in that moment um and I knew it was something I had to do um because it was something that I had to own for me and be true to me and I felt like that was my service in helping people um and so I'm owning that it's okay to stand alone in something that you believe in it's okay to um, be the voice for the voiceless, even when your voice is shaky, even when you want to cry, even when you don't understand why this is happening to you, um, it's okay. And so I, I left a place feeling very hurt. I left that particular place. It, it is a institution, um, a physical place. Um, I left that place feeling very hurt because like I said, it was a place I considered home. It gave me um, at one point, it gave so much to me, but at this point, I felt like an outsider. I felt like someone who did not matter because of, you know, something as, as small as a piece of clothing. And so I think that experience had to happen for me to understand what my values like truly are and how I represent myself in any space that I walk into and how I show God's promise, God's grace, God's God's mercy, God's love, most importantly, God's love um, in spaces where people may feel excluded. And so I'm owning that today. I'm owning that what I value cannot be denied in any space that I enter, in any space that I enter, no matter how sacred a space has once been to me, no matter if it's if it has been home to me before, um, it, it can't. It, it, it no longer can can be um, a sacrifice that, it, that I'm willing to give away. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm owning today. I, I think it's owning my value, owning my voice, owning, you know, my well-being, my well-being, <laughs> my mental, emotional well-being in spaces that I occupy. That's what I'm owning. Um, 
And very good point, Melinda. You owning that you are a healer who doesn't have to heal everybody. And speaking of healers, I think there's a, def a, a misconstrued like thought of what a healer is. A healer isn't someone you go to to be healed. A healer is someone that identifies something that you, you have to be willing to fix and understand. Not fix, but being able to understand what you see and, and have to... Um, have to address for yourself so a healer can't fix something for you a healer can only pinpoint what it is you need to work on and so i think as healers we need to understand that and the people who we interact with also have to understand this is this something i can't do for you i can point it out for you but i can't <laughs> i can't change it for you right so god calling hired you to be the change i hear that that peacock okay owning accepting i cannot change people's perception of me and I have to be okay with staying true to who I am, regardless of what one person or persons perceive me to be. Amen, Glenda Boone. I hear that. Yes. Yes. All of that. And if y'all want to get on, y'all can. Let me know. Y'all can send a request. We can, we can, we can hop on to and do it. Um, but yes, that's what I'm owning. Um, I'm owning my values, my voice, and my and the vision that God gave me. Amen. Come on. It's just it, he dropping it on me now. He dropping it on me. Um, so, hey, Melissa. So, that's what I'm owning. Um, and I believe that God's got my back. I believe that um, it, it happened so that I could make a decision. Maybe a very tough decision. But, um, you know, I trust that God got me. God's going to lead me. And it's going to be all right. Not only for me, but for, for, for others who may um, feel like they had to you know be complicit in something that they not necessarily did not don't not do not value and and that's okay because the, the ministry i'm involved in is about freeing liberation baby and so huh, if i believe that i think people behind me will too um all right so vibe what's the pick of the week y'all what's the pick of the week something that you've done that you've experienced that's um that's been good to you or you know something that you've done that's been helpful for other people um let's see for me I, first i want to talk to somebody y'all want to get on with me anybody want to come on video glinda melinda brian melissa nobody um but if not i'll keep it going um so i recently went to the movies the other day which was like the first time since coke well actually no because i went to see spider-man so i can't say that um went to the movies oh melinda yes Oh, did I do it? Oh, approve. All right, y'all. We're welcoming Melinda to the live. Amen. My oldest cousin. The eldest. Oh, God. You know, I'm probably looking crazy. You not looking crazy. Hey, May. <laughs> hey, good evening. How are you, sister? I'm good. Oh, well, I, I thank you. you. And mother, you don't. I, I will be able to remove you, ma. <laughs> um. All right. So, speak a little bit more huh? about what you said you own in this week. Oh, that I'm a healer mm -hmm. that doesn't have to heal everybody. Um, kind of like you said, I may see. Um, I I want to. I won't even say a problem, but um, an area in someone's life, even my own life, um, that some growing needs to take place. Um, some people are receptive, some people aren't. Um, and the hard part is that you can't make everybody see that. That's the part. So you're like, oh, I need to not necessarily save everybody, but mm -hmm. you know the healing and freedom. Um, and you want people to be free. Because we, we talk about, we preach about freedom all the time, but oftentimes we live in bondage. And so that is the hard part to not see people free mentally, spiritually, uh, yeah. just free. So that's the part that I have a hard time with. Um, but I also have to realize it's a time I might have planted the seed um, and somebody else might have to water it. Um, it might be a time where somebody comes back. Um, and oftentimes healers, we're left out to our own demise because people are so okay. used to us being the healer that when we have an issue they think we're superwoman or superman and they don't want to hear um or it goes back to themselves so we have to take care of ourselves and plus answer um the call 
um, that God has given us, but he wants mm -hmm. us to take care of ourselves too. So I have been owning that I'm the healer that does not have mm -hmm. to heal okay. everybody. Amen, yes. Okay, and you said something, <laughs> yes. God wants us to take care of ourselves too. That's a must. How help other people we can't even mm -hmm. help ourselves? No, you can't pull from an empty cup. You can't. Not even a half full cup because the more you pour, the more you get depleted. Um, and you set yourself up um, for mm -hmm. uh, demise. Because the healer, even though we heal, um, we can go, mm -hmm. our mental can shut down. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people, if we don't take care of ourselves, a lot of people walk away. I've mm -hmm. known some people who walk away of their calling, which is not fair to ourselves and not fair to the people who we are called to. And that's another thing that we have to realize the people, we aren't called to everybody. We're called to a certain people and we have a voice for a certain people. But that doesn't mean that, others won't come. Um, yeah. Yeah, but you got to set your boundary. Um, that doesn't mean that you don't love them. It's it's just that you don't have what they right. need at that and time. You, and, and, and you have to be honest about the capacity that you have, too. Like, yes, this is a gift that God has given me, but have am I in a position to, to share that with you right now and where I can give it away? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you need it for yourself. You need it for yourself in order mm -hmm. to just keep living day to day. You know, it's it's hard out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> out here for spiritual work, right? It's mm -hmm. it's hard out here. Um, especially when people see your light. I have been places. I don't know these people. Ever since I was a little girl, they tell me all their business. They hug me. They need something from me. So. It's just like, even when I'm trying to hide, your light still shines. So you have to, like I said, set your boundaries and take care of yourself. And a lot of people are just looking for a resource. So even in the healing, you can be the right. resource. And that's part of the healing. And you got to be okay with mm -hmm. that. We might not see and, the full And even book. in taking care of yourself, that may be what people need to see. Because people need a mm -hmm. model of how how can I implement boundaries in my life, right? How a true to and honor mm -hmm. myself even in the process of healing because healing is not easy work healing is ugly as hell mm -mm. it's gonna get us for you blossoming into a beautiful creature that god you know has created but you have to go to that stage of i mm -hmm. have to do for me and so when people see you doing that when people see you standing up for your values when people see you honoring your boundaries when people see you taking care of yourself mentally spiritually physically like you do every day that empowers them to want to do the same thing so in taking care of yourself you really are being a healer and showing other people this this is my way this may not be the way for you but this is my way. Mm -hmm. by me sharing what mm -hmm. my way is you can find yours so of course. And I notice people want something that is real. They want transparent. We have dressed up, especially us mm -hmm. as black people. We we can make depression and other things look so good because we have been trained to. But people want an authentic story, authentic testimony. And even the Bible tells us we are healed by our testimonies. And but it has to be a truthful testimony. Um so we have to own our stories. And it's okay to own your story because people see where you were and where you are now. Just for working out, I, I worked out for a whole year straight. When I mm -hmm. started, I was 308 pounds. I hated video. I had a homeboy who, who begged me to do video and I hated it. And I told him the last 100 days, I'm going to do video. And in those last 100 days, women, men, young and old have reached out and said that I help them to heal in that aspect of it. So just like I hold myself accountable, they mm -hmm. hold me accountable just from doing a video. But they saw saw the struggle of I, I was very authentic. Like I'm not feeling it today. Yeah. I was mad that the scale didn't change. So we have to be true to people. Just God wastes nothing. He wastes nothing. So own whatever you did, whether that be a drug addiction, an alcohol addiction, addicted to sex, anything, own it because he wastes nothing. It's somebody that is called, you are called to that mm -hmm. is going to do that mm -hmm. same thing. 
and we had to be open. Yeah, and even and story. even what you said, we are called to someone. We, re, we first and foremost we're called to ourselves. God knowledge who God mm -hmm. made us, and we can accept who God is. Yes. And celebrate that and recognize maybe the differences that we have in ourselves, um, as opposed to what other people have or, or are or who they may appear to be. God wants us to come home to ourselves first. Okay. To mm -hmm. and that's what I mm -hmm. think that experience that I was talking about in my own it I think that is what God was trying to get my attention mm -hmm. to because it's just weird how things work in time and in space and all this stuff because the, you know this is homecoming season this is the season where you know colleges and universities mm -hmm. are doing homecoming schools are doing homecoming churches are having homecoming events and this is a season where I think God is calling me to to really hone in on my skills, my talents, and who God has created me to be, what the vision and, and gifts that God has given me. And so it's a season for me to recognize this is a healing, a heal coming for you, okay? That mm -hmm. this is your coming. Even though it's a rough mm -hmm. patch, even though this is still hurt and an <laughs> outsider and outside, you, my dear are coming becoming and and coming home to the person i've called you to be and i need you to walk in it and that's what i'm trying to own and do as hard as it is i'm trying it's hard I'm gonna keep, you gonna go stream, but i'm gonna have to do it, it. I, but because it it's, yeah you gotta do it it's no and denying god's hand in all of this it's no it's no denying mm -mm. no i think we talked about well, home, home doesn't feel like home even that's just like a building, but when yourself doesn't feel like yourself, like how many times have you fought that calling? How many times have you heard the voice? Like, I'm doing life. what I want to do today. <laughs> so, but when you give your yes, you know that your life is really, yeah. really yeah. not your own anymore. You got to own what you are to go through, yeah. grow through. Yeah. You, we got to own it. So sometimes when your home doesn't feel like home, you might go kicking and screaming, but mm -hmm. you want to mm -hmm. be the change. And oftentimes when we teach, we forget oh. <laughs> Jesus was a radical. He wasn't his, no his, In his cloak, he was a radical. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Cast he was a radical. Demons. Yeah, he was a radical. He did something that people had never saw before. And got and so we are so comfortable mm -hmm. in things, but you, the tr uh, the truth teller, is called yeah. to do tell a truth mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. shake it up a little bit. Even though the shaking might be uncomfortable, it might be a little scary, but because yeah. it's different. But you, we we are called to be the radicals it's in the blood. I mean, I like to know who gave us that little bit. And but, go ahead. But you are the yeah you changed you changed changed and something that really really encouraged me last week because I I was just like Lord I don't even know like um I was ready to throw my little hands mm -hmm. up but it was Galatians which I remember is your favorite book in the Bible am I right Galatians <laughs> what no no it depends okay. on the, the see well, I got so I just go all says, let's not depends be weary and because in yes, this season, well doing. we shall a harvest if we do not think <laughs> will fall. And, oh, that spoke to me because even the context of, it, that's one scripture in a larger book of the Bible. And that, that Paul wrote that letter mm -hmm. to those people so, so they could understand that it don't matter if you circumcised or uncircumcised. <laughs> there is a place for you. There is a place for you in this kingdom. There's mm -hmm. a place for you in, in, in the Messiah's world. There's a place for you. And so matter what you may hear mm -hmm. this here is ordained by god not no not by man nothing else by mm -hmm. god and so in your well-doing don't woo, mm -hmm. don't get weary i'm don't get weary don't, don't get weary because this right here <laughs> like he's like you said it doesn't matter if you circumcise what what yeah. does your spirit say that's what's going your spirit, not right. this, not the outer appearance. Yes, we have to take care of it while we're here because this is what we're the spirit is housed in. But work on your soul, mm -hmm. your soul relationship. You know, like we we can't put 
principles and practices over people because we had to learn and they got to learn, but it got to mm -hmm. be with a gentle mm -hmm. touch. And until we get a gentle touch, the church and religion will always die. We got to touch people and meet them where they mm -hmm. are because we all once were there. And even with our holy selves, we can go back there. Yeah. Mm. Because mm. it will always be a thorn in our flesh. Mm. Always. I'm just too through now. <laughs> I encourage me. I just say, you know, <laughs> that's just it. Galatians 6, 9. Don't get weary. Follow the spirit that God has Don't given you. Don't get weary. Know that the faith that you have, have built, that you have mm -hmm. tried over and over and over again, that has been tested over and over again. To, to to let you know that you will prevail, not only not only you, but the mm -hmm. message of God, which is love, which is which is love, mm -hmm. love, it's agape love. And so keep doing agape what love. God has called you to do, and how you to move, mm -hmm. because that is mm -hmm. what God is looking for. Not me, of course. And relation, the experience mm -hmm. with God is like no other. When I experienced, um, like I said, truly experienced mm -hmm. God, I was at my worst. On a break of depression. But it was in that moment that I experienced the best experience I ever had. It wasn't pretty. I tell people all the time, I did not sleep. It was not pretty. But in that moment, I got the experience that did far more than mm -hmm. religion did for me. And that's when I chose to dive deeper. The experience is what got me. And so I pray. My prayer is a bold prayer. As an evangelist, I pray that God disrupt these people's lives. So they might have the experience mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. religion. Because mm -hmm. we can learn religion, but that we can't is, learn an experience. Yes, you have yes, to get yes. into it. So every time I say, God, disrupt these people's life, that they might have an experience mm. with you. And that's, I feel like that's a bold yes, prayer. It is. Because... You have no control over the good and the bad and what you experience. But as long as you get the experience, that's all that matters. Because we want to be able to recognize <laughs> when it's the second coming, who is who and what is what. Because mm -hmm. warfare, oh, it's going to be sweet. It's going to be a moment of peace and everything going to be sweet. But you got to be able to keep your eyes open mm -hmm. and what your spirit and your soul is saying to you. Amen. Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Keep us near the cross, <laughs> Lord. Keep there are Keep own. us near the cross. You no. Know. It's it's hard out here in these streets. <laughs> it's hard out here in these, these streets. <laughs> it really is. For more than you know, we got depression and war and famine and high gas prices, anxiety, anxiety. suicide is up. You know, it's just. Mm. But us as a people, us as a people, we built for <laughs> the struggle. Not, say, not saying that we're supposed to be in the struggle, but it's kind of like when you ain't have you know how to make a struggle meal you know how to make some oozer noodles and some tuna fish it's some people yeah. here who be like well what i supposed to do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know so even in a when it's a famine in the land it's like if he feeds the birds mm. he gonna I feed me mm. so how many times when you see people on the street, they say they mm -hmm. hungry you say okay here goes some food but we got to come together and stop looking and down and stop other. being inferior to people and stop 
challenged by people mm -hmm. and listen just listen because mm, listen. the message is going to come one way or another multiple times you mm -hmm. can choose to listen or it's going to be forced upon you mm. okay because what god has okay. for you is for you right that's exactly <laughs> And that's just way. that's not one way or another, God, whether you like it or not. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, it's gonna be how you're you not gonna like it. <laughs> like, you're not gonna like it. Really? You're not gonna like it. Then you just be like, yeah, All right, I like my sleep at night. Oh, let gosh. me just go with it. Amen. All right, well, I think we should close out. Anybody else want to check in? How is everybody else feeling? I see we have um, Nikki on, my sister Miriam. Hey, girl, Tyra. Do y'all want to just write in the comments how y'all feeling? What y'all owning today or this week? Something that made y'all feel good? Um, Denied, then we just going to close out with some prayer. Because it's just heavy today. I'll wait a few more moments. When you choose to walk with God and not man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, praise God. Yeah. Yes, man. Nikki hey. Said I needed this. It blessed me too. It, it blessed me too. Yeah, walking on purposes. And don't look at the traditional yeah. of purpose. It's what you call it. Everybody's not called to be in a church or a minister or a deacon or an evangelist sometimes your purpose can be it cooking is cooking is love cooking is okay sometimes, <laughs> yeah. financial freedom is a blessing so dig deep into those things you're supposed to be purpose for okay. hey man let's close out in the word of prayer lord jesus we can popcorn it or go back and forth my land but yeah, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Lord, we first come to you to say thank you. Thank you for an on-time discussion, Lord God. Thank you for giving us purpose, Lord God. Thank you for giving us voice. But most importantly, God, thank you for waking us up this morning so we could experience this moment that you've had for us right here, Lord God. Thank you for the blessings that you have given us this day, Lord God. Not even today, but this month, God. Thank you for allowing us to be blessings to people that we yeah. don't even know we've blessed, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you. For this this Thank moment you. we just praise your name because in it we find clarity in it we find purpose in it we find comfort that you are indeed our god lord god that you are the one that's leading us holding our hand comforting us even in the midst of trouble and turbulence mm -hmm. oh god we know that we have a trusted friend in you that you are you are a healer and a promise keeper, Lord God, and that you will deliver on your word that you have given to each and every one of us under the sound of my voice, oh God. So we pray right now that whatever is holding someone back, whatever has someone feeling that they are in bondage, whatever has someone feeling like they can't be themselves or they can't use their voice, Lord God, that that right now is broken, that you understand that from them right now, Lord God, that you give them yeah. a spirit of boldness and courageous love, Lord God, and ask you to see it through that you are with them even in the midst of depression and anxiety lord that this is something that they can be that they will be lord god that they shall overcome because that's what we do lord god we are overcomers in your name and we thank you lord god for the blessings mm -hmm. that are coming for the victories that are coming that already has our name on it lord god we know that there's a blessing right around the corner lord we just thank you right now we give you a yes even if we don't know what we're saying yes to oh god we give you our yes we praise you we praise you in advance, yeah. Lord God. We give you all the glory, Lord God, that whatever light may shine upon us, Lord God, that we are holding it to the utmost respect and giving it glory to you. And it is in your name that we pray. We pray for the safety of everyone under my voice, Lord God, those who are in Florida, Lord God, who are dealing with the hurricane of Ian, oh God. We pray for those who are going hungry tonight, Lord God. We pray that you supply them with something to eat, Lord God, something to give them strength to get to tomorrow, oh God. We pray that all of your children are strengthened, Lord God, in your name. This is in your name that we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, Amen y'all. Amen. It was a great discussion. Yeah, it was a good discussion. So we always here Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Y'all check in with us. Um, check in with us. <laughs> I love y'all. I love you, May. Um, and I hope y'all have a love great you too. Y'all week. Stay care.
So I hope y'all had a great rest of y'all week. Mm -hmm. All right. Love y'all.